Let's look at an example that combines a Cartesian product and power set. So let's let T be a set that has the elements 1 and 2, and U be a set that has the elements 3 and 4. Okay, and then we are interested in finding, so we're going to find the Cartesian product of T and the power set of U. Okay, so this is going to be a two-step process. The step one is we're going to enumerate the power set of U. Okay, so we're going to build basically this second set. So let's do that. Um, again, we can take our binary vector method just to make sure that we don't forget anything. All right, and so we start writing our vectors. Okay, and what this means, the set, the power set of U is going to contain the empty set, the set with four, the set with three, and then the set containing three and four. Okay, so that is our power set of U. Okay, so there was step one. Now in step two, we're going to build this Cartesian product. So let's remind ourselves what that looks like. It's going to end up being an ordered pair. Okay. And then, again, let's give these places some names. Let's call it X and Y. And X is going to be an element of T. And Y is going to be an element of the power set of U. Okay, so let's start enumerating um, these ordered pairs. Let's start um, with putting the first element of T in the X place, and then the first uh, element of the power set of U in the Y place. So that's going to be the empty set. Okay. And then um, let's keep the first element of T in place and let's select the next element of the power set of U. It's going to be 4. Okay, and then following this pattern, we're going to have three, and then we're going to have three, four. Okay, all right, now we have made um, all of the pairs that we can make with the first element from T, with one being in this X spot. So now let's take this next element of T, two, and then we're just going to repeat the process. Okay, and now I can go ahead and group these together into a set. Okay, and then this is going to be the set that we were looking for. This is the Cartesian product of T and the power set of U.